What's up, guys? Welcome, Crypto Fud. Let's jump right into this. All right, so my lady, meme coin. What are we doing? Well, looks like in the last like week or two, obviously, we've all been watching. We've been slowly moving down. We currently are sitting at around the 44 mark. We've been moving down, obviously, since we made this local high somewhere around the uh, I think it was around 6.3. Yeah, 6.2, 6.3. I think it hit 6.3 on some charts. Um, and since then, we have been moving down. But I will say it's not just me, lady, that's been moving down. The whole market really has been kind of either stagnant or has been moving down. Recently, in the last like few days, you've seen a lot of the um, certain altcoins, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, um, have been moving up. Bitcoin particularly hasn't really been moving up. It, it what it's been doing is uh, we'll see like you know like a sharp drop real fast down to like twenty nine thousand five hundred, and then in, like within minutes it's right back up to where it's been sitting at around thirty thousand four hundred, thirty thousand five hundred. Right now, Bitcoin currently sitting at around thirty thousand five hundred and thirty eight so i mean everything's been looking pretty good pretty solid i mean if you like i have always say if you just you know think about it go back six months from now from where we're at right now and where were we at as far as just bitcoin alone bitcoin was sitting somewhere in the low 20s so i mean the fact that we're sitting at thirty thousand and we're getting bored at thirty thousand is a good thing um hopefully we can really just really hold this support at 30,000, which it looks like it has been. And we're going to just need a new catalyst, something, maybe some good news. Maybe the markets are just going to get bored and the bulls are going to take over and we'll start moving up. And with that being said, me lady obviously will move with it with the market. Um, if you notice, we did come down and bounced right at the 786, uh, somewhere around the 42 mark. We bounced perfectly on that. It's like it almost like respects these uh, fib retracement lines, you know, like if you see right here, you know, we bounce perfectly at this fib retracement down here, moved up, bounce pretty much almost at the 618. I do have a line right here that I spoke about previously. This line right here is, um, you know, a solid spot of some support and it's been some resistance. We definitely want to get above this line, which is about the 4.7. Um, if we can make our way back up there, and I do think that when we get up there, we're either going to bounce and get blocked, hit our head on the 618, which would be the 4.6, or this this line that I have drawn right above the 618, which would be the 4.7. We're most likely going to come up and bounce off of that, get rejected, maybe come down midway and retest it again. And this obviously is if the market's moving back up. If you can see, you know, in the past few weeks, maybe month, we did bounce at that line multiple times. And it looks like, you know, it was support. But if you look recently, we broke through it, dropped down. And you see this M pattern right here. We uh, hit our head on the line multiple times, which told me that we were getting rejected, obviously, and that we were going to be moving down. And we cleanly cleanly bounced at the 786 so that was that's actually was a good thing hopefully that was you know a, a little local bottom and we can kind of let this w pattern play out and maybe move back up like i said up to the 618 or retest this blue line which would be this uh 47 again i do expect it to most likely unless we're having some crazy pump we're most likely going to bounce and hit our head off that and then maybe just retrace a little bit maybe down towards the 44 Somewhere around these spots right here that we uh, kind of bounced before in between the 76 and the 618. But regardless, this could be good, ample opportunity. Obviously, I'm not giving out financial advice, but to add to your bags right now, everything on me, lady, is on a fraction of the price. If this is something long term that you believe in, especially like I've been screaming to the hills, the market cap is so low. Um, I was trying to pull up their Twitter, and for whatever reason, I cannot pull up the exact Twitter. Uh, for Milady, but I know the other day last week they were announcing something big was going to be coming out. I don't know if it did. I, I didn't see anything yet, but it just tells me that the devs definitely are, you know, um, you know, they're they're working behind the scenes. You know, they they know what this project is capable of doing, and they want to definitely keep just you know, you know, adding to their product and and seeing where this is going to go. Obviously, they have an NFT line. That's the whole Milady nfts but i think they're gonna i honestly see that this is gonna be like some kind of a um 
I don't want to say ecosystem, but some kind of a project to where there's going to be some utility added to it. And that would be awesome for me, lady. That really would. And like I keep saying, with the market cap being somewhere under $50 million is a steal. And this thing has the potential to 100% 10x easily. Is it going to do that? Obviously, we don't know. But if you're invested in it like I am, then you're you're betting that it will. So we'll leave it there. I'll make sure to come out with a bunch of videos, you know, keep updates. I haven't been coming out daily in the last few days because I've been on vacation and, you know, things have been really stagnant. But as things start moving on and we get back into this bull market and things are moving fast, I will make sure to have multiple videos a day, making sure to keep you guys updated. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. It helps me out. It's free for you and you get instant alerts whenever I do post videos. I thank you guys so much.